All right, welcome back to Animal Lover. I was just about to start the recording without capturing the game. Oh man, I'm tired. But yeah, I remembered I should actually capture the game. <laughs> I'm good, am I not? Come on, I want praise. Give me praise. <laughs> oh well, let's start. But regardless, I lean in and peck him on the forehead. Lou, and behold, he changes back into a human. It helps, all right. What the? What is? Uh, what in the Sam Hill was that? I don't know. Why is this thing happening to me? Isn't this thing happening to me? My stomach is still queasy. I don't think it's all. Ah! <laughs> and just as quickly as he turned back, he's a cat again. I'm staring in disbelief, horrified. He's still in his cat body, but running away from me this time. I don't get how when he turned back from cat to human, he had clothes on. But when he was turned into a cat, what, 60 years ago? He must have worn some clothing. Or do they lose... Well, okay, they were reborn, so I don't think they were reborn with their human clothing. But still, it doesn't make sense that if they turn into a cat or hamster, in, into their animal form, uh, that they stay in their clothing and turn back with their clothing when they turn back into a human. Ah, logics. Oh. <laughs> Kiss him again. Hurry. Kiss him better this time. <laughs> Kiss him better? Keep your damn cool. Yeah. And give the situation a second to breathe before doing anything rash. Frankie, or rather Apollo, is staring at me, terrified. He dearly, he clearly doesn't want me to kiss him again. I, um, uh, what do we do? Apollo meows and his hair stands on end. I don't know. Well, that seemed to happen when the sun was setting. It's night time now. Maybe it has something to do with the night. I don't know why it was. It wasn't me. Me neither. Kaja, this is bad. I can clearly tell why he's saying that. I'm still an intense... I'm feeling an intense sense of responsibility right now. But they depend on me. Frankie's sad cat eyes are still staring directly at me. At mine. At mine. Well, he's looking to me for help and I can't do anything. Edmund's looking at me with a horrified frown. I can't just leave this now. We've got to figure out what's happening to them. If they can turn back at any time, then they need me to turn them human again. If I'm gone, they could be animals for years. This is bad. This is bad. I'm scared. Me too. A long silence persists after Edmund and I reassure each other a few more, more times that this is bad. Fifteen minutes of silent panic ensues. So what now? I, well, we sleep, I guess. We don't know if we can't change him back in the morning. We sleep until then. What do you think, Frankie? Frankie's eyes have calmed. He's at unease and unable to rest. You can sleep in my bed if you want. Frankie stares silently at the ground for a moment. After he's done thinking to himself, he walks past Edmund and jumps up onto the <laughs> onto my bed. He needs my the place on my bed where my feet are supposed to go. This is so strange. I know. I don't know why I'm not changing. Can you change at will? You mean like decide to become a hamster? 
No, I don't even know how I'd begin to do that. I think hamster thoughts. What? <laughs> like pellets? Yeah. Already tried that. Like, all day. So. So I got up. I grabbed Edmund some blankets and a pillow. I looked around the house to see if my parents had returned. They had not yet, so I went downstairs and grabbed a mattress. Dragging the mattress into my room took a couple of minutes. In between leaving my room and coming back, Frankie had drifted off to sleep. A ray of moonlight sat on his body and he was snoring lightly, barely audible. It was odd to look at him, a cat I had to treat like a human. This was life now. Time for sleep then. I guess it is. Alright. <clears throat> well, good night, Edmund. Good night, Kaja. Now we have to search for the others. If there are others. We need as many clues as to what's going on as we can find. And we need to help as many lost souls in animal bodies as we can find. If I quit on them now, they could be lost for another hundred years or more. The point where I could have decided that I didn't want any part of this has long passed. That makes me sad. And scared. I never expected to kiss a prince back to life, never expected to be swept off my feet and taken to a life of comfort and ease. But I double wasn't expecting to be swept off my feet and taken to a life of ad 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 adios, adios? responsibility and horrifying consequences. I'll have to google that later. <laughs> adios. Adios. Beschwerlich. Uh-huh. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Edmund is taking large breaths as he sleeps, though not snoring. As I'm trying to fall asleep, the image comes to my mind of switching from really tiny lungs to really big lungs and enjoy the extra air. Frankie, the cat, is snoring a little and rubbing against my foot. This isn't all bad, but I'm scared. And back into the car. Alright. I'll pick you guys up at 3 o'clock and then we're going to check by the closest pet stores, okay? Where is she going? Work. Where? What? You're a vet. I'm an intern. Wait, what's that? I'm not paid to be there. So you're an apprentice? Nope. Why not? This is for experience and to put on my work record. Yeah, that's an apprentice. Yeah. I'm not an apprentice. Kaja. There's nothing wrong with being an apprentice. You're young. It's okay. But I'm not... Okay, sure, yes, I'm an apprentice. <laughs> yeah, alright, I could see how... It could be hard to explain. Um, you know, that's not a bad thing, right? Let it go, hoping they do the same for your bag. for your back. I doubt this joke was funny even in your time. Yeah, sure, it hit below the belt, that's fine. I thought it was funny. So she's going to work. Where are you going? I'm, the I'm dropping you guys off at an outside mall. Oh, neat. I'm looking forward to it. It's a sad place, this mall. <laughs> Our tone isn't quite big enough to support an entire mall, especially when there's a better one 20 minutes away. But they'll enjoy it, I'm sure. I'm not sure if they'll be able to know the difference between an awful mall and a good mall. Are there good malls? That is a question I do not want to answer. 
<laughs> I hate malls, but they can be good in a way. Since you have everything in one place and you don't have to look for the store that is, I don't know, three blocks away. Uh, three, right. Three, or five, or six, or seven, and you're totally lost, new to the city, and don't know your way around. Yeah. So yeah, a mall can be good, but if there are food stalls in there, it normally just smells really bad. Uh, no. No, not mine. My kind of place to go. But okay, I hate groups of people going out into a crowd. Nah, I hate that. I really hate that. If I have to go shopping, I go on days when normal people have to work and I'm one of maybe five customers there. <sighs> That's so calming. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're good malls. Mm, I'll drop you off at the coffee shop there. Same one we went to? Nope. Oh, okay. Do whatever you guys like. Sorry, I can't drop you guys off with any money. I don't have cash on me. Be back there at 3 o'clock. You got it. No problem. Hmm... Alright, Frankie should be able to read the clock, but Edmund? Nah. Huh. And I'm not sure if Frankie is really the reliable type. Uh, oh well. Okay, here, this place, three o'clock. You got it, Kaja. Whatever you say. <clears throat> they're giggling to each other as I leave. I wonder what they're laughing at. Slow day. Slower than usual. My mind keeps drifting into uncomfortable places. Is there any chance I could pawn these guys off onto another? Anyone else? I don't have the time for them. I'm sitting at my desk at the doctor's office, occasionally checking social media and reading comics. I should be doing something more, but I'm not. What if Edmund and Frankie get lost? What if they offend someone? Frankie probably doesn't know how to talk to women, judging by his earlier term of endearment. Um, oh my god, what if they got arrested? I should buy them a burn phone, just so I can keep in touch. But we want money. We need that money for gas to go over to other pet stores to find more guys that I'm going to have to take care of. Will I need to buy them burn phones too? Gotcha. Oh, hi doctor, is everything okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing, still doing here? I'm off at f uh, the, the 3. It's 3.30. What? My worst fear is that I'm going to have to wander the mall, calling out Edmund and Frank like they're my children. <laughs> oh no, don't remind me of, um, what is it, Heavy Rain? I forgot the name of the child, but... <laughs> calling out him over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Edmund! Frank! Edmund! Frank! <clears throat> they won't be at the place I left them. Then I'm going to have to run around the mall screaming. Then someone's going to say... Excuse me, miss. Are you looking for your children? And I'll say... No! It's two tall, attractive men who are from a distant time. They're my responsibility. And then they'll say... Oh, look, there she is. Huh? Hey, Gaza. Oh, hey, hey there. You're late. Ah, uh, hey guys, come on in. 
So, how was your day, guys? Oh, it was the bee's knees, Gaja. Me and Eddie were here had applause. I too had a lot of fun. Oh? Wow, that's good to hear. What do you guys do? What the? So, seeing as we, um, <clears throat> so seeing as we didn't have any money, we went into the coffee shop and we were all, hey, there's, uh, hey, there's sweetheart. Any chance we, could, you could fix us up with some freebies? Frankie is quite the ladies' man. And the girl uh, behind the counter gave us free coffees. The servings were really small, but they were free. Were they samples? I don't know, but they were pretty tasty. I thought so too. So we went over to the yeah, <laughs> to the ice cream place, and Frank did it again. The little lady behind the counter had some odd piercings, but she was a real looker. He got us three spoonfuls of ice cream. <laughs> I got sherbet. Sh uh, sherbet. Yeah, Eddie never had sherbet before. Wait a minute. And then he did it a third time. And <laughs> you, best friend. <laughs> Spoonfuls of gelato. They didn't have strawberry like I wanted at the ice cream place. But the French vanilla. Yeah, but the French vanilla wasn't bad. He wasn't able to get us any. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. I need Frankie in my life. <clears throat> he wasn't able to get us anything free at the Sanford shop. It was a man behind the counter, so my drums fell on their face, sadly. Free sandwiches would have been something else, let me tell you. And we spent the rest of our time trying on hats. <laughs> oh my god! No! Hat please, uh, just lets you try them for free. Fancy that, huh? And that was our day. How was yours? Oh, it was fine. Good. Glad to hear it, Kaja. Yeah. So, we're just about up on our first stop. Here's my plan. There are five pet stores in town, two animal shelters, a store dedicated to puppies, and a nearby zoo. Over the next week, we'll check by all those places and find anyone we can. Edmund and Frankie both nod their heads in agreement. I want to do that in only a couple of days nodding. If I have to, I get my best friend Katie to help me with the load. But only if things get ridiculous. If by the time we've scoured the, the entire town, we still don't have any clue what's going on. Well, I don't know. I'll have to do something. I understand. Me too. Here we are, first stop. I wonder if I'll be able to see a trapped person like I was able to see with Epi, Eddie. I believe you will, I recall. About a decade back, I saw a dog that was also a person, but I don't know where they sh would be now. Well, alright then. Okay, Edmund, you go around the left while Frankie... There. They both point in this very same direction. I actually can't see, even see in that direction. I'm not convinced I can either. Whatever they're pointing at is behind several empty cages. We all walk over to where they're pointing. That's a guy. He's human. <coughs> What's more, he's a guy. <laughs> uh, <coughs> What's more, he's a guy. How can you tell? Well, uh, look, I mean, uh, look at him. Oh my god, so cute! It's a ferret. 
There is nothing overwhelmingly male about him. <laughs> Alright, I think... Yeah, I think that's the canon guy. I never told you guys, but... Um, one guy has two endings, a bad and... Well, his love ending, I don't know, romance ending. And the rest of the guys only have one each. And one with two endings, well, he's the canon guy, so he is thought you will be, you will pursue, um, from the story of writers. So yeah, I think his is the darkest story, actually. Ah, uh, ferret. I checked some of the other guys out, out too. <laughs> you should definitely watch the intro video. <laughs> then you can see what the other guys are as pets. Or oh, pets? I shouldn't say pets. It's one is. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to spoil. You can check it out for yourself if you want to. Well, I'll end it here. See you next time. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Bye!